Like you, I put my heart into my work. Hello and welcome to the very first <coughs> Creative Control Guild Wars 2 100% uh, completion tutorial. I will have to think of a simpler name for that later. Anyways, I will be doing a quick run through of the entirety of Caledon Forest and show you where all of the skill points, vistas, and hearts are at. Uh, the waypoints, if I You'll see them on my map as I pass through here. They will tend to pop up if you're anywhere remotely close to them. So if you kind of follow the same route I do, I, I can't imagine you not seeing them all. <coughs> so anyways, let's start over here in the Oregon Wilds. Uh, this guy like was you, one of the last ones that I did because I didn't even know he was over here. Uh, once you do his little thing, you turn into a boss heart and... I'll be seeing you. basically become the tree hulk for a little while and you can you clear up roots and get rid of poisonous sacks and whatnot in the area it's good stuff it's a uh, I like the, I like it when they when you transform into something and get to play around with different skill sets Your face seems anyways familiar. when you finish his uh, quest you get out access to these fun items here mostly just boots I'll show you what they look like all right. I mean, if you want, you can use some transmutation stone and uh, moss woven charm. Only 105 Farewell. karma. Anyways, Save that's it for him. Let's uh, book it because the forest is a big place, and I probably won't go into any detail on how to complete the hearts because honestly, I might have already forgotten. None of them are particularly memorable. Retreat. They're all pretty easy, self-explanatory. You just read the text up here for them. Uh, the biggest thing they are is just time consuming, which, you know, it's an MMO. <coughs> the more time they make you use up, the better for them, so you don't see everything too fast. Anyways, the uh, first skill point that I ever found, anyways, is over here. In order to get to it, you just jump up on this rock and then uh, jump up to it. This one is just a, uh, it's a commune with the power, so you just pop it in. And a few seconds later, you'll have one skill point more. Uh, the next uh, vista in the area is right over here. This one is incredibly easy to get to. Uh, it's almost not even worth any time showing people how to get to it because it's super simple. Just run around the edge here. Follow this ledge along to there, and there's a skill point. Oh, I thought the panther was going to attack me. Look at this. I, you know, this this reminds me. This is. Something that I do find enjoyable in the game is how the hostile animals will often attack the regular ones. And the panther just did his little invisibility thing. The this, this stag is like, oh god. So I've had enough of this bullshit. But yeah, that's always entertaining to watch a panther fight a deer. And the deer not, not like instantly explode. Just some random shit that happens in this game is pretty cool. Save yourselves. Yes. And I use this as a speed buff, but if there were somebody around me with negative conditions, I'd be screwed. Another heart over here. Uh, once again, I I don't actually remember the specifics of this one at all, but when you complete them, you get access to this engraved uh, seashell. But once again, all the hearts are really easy. Um, I guess I don't really know what to say about the hearts. They're just time sinks. Retreat! So up here we have the next vista. It's a nice little fortress. Again, really easy vista. This one's just kind of cool though because it do like a panoramic view of the whole fort. Mm -hmm. 
so yeah. Oh yeah, uh, I should mention, there's a point of interest uh, back by the last heart, you just follow the road. There's a point of interest that's part of part of the, uh, the story for Slavari, but if you, for, for some reason, if you don't get it, uh, you can just follow this road up the path and you'll reach the uh, point of interest. Oh, I hope I don't die. So let's see here, the next part is this island. And for this island, you do stuff like fixing lobster traps. There's a trap around here. Oh, gr granted, I've never seen any lobsters that are small enough to fit inside them, but it's amusing. Oh yeah, these little traps right there that this crab is standing on are allegedly what the fishermen are using to catch. I guess they could catch something small. Nothing like that. These monster crabs. And then you also need to go around the island and fix these nets. They're pretty easy. Save yourselves! Uh, let's see. There's a point of interest over there. Uh, there really isn't a whole lot over there other than that point. So I'm not going to waste my time going over there. Retreat! Caledon Forest is a big place. Oh, look at the copper. There's another point of interest over here that's part of a uh, area triggered event where you escort this lady over there and kill some Nightmare Court people. If you don't get it, uh, then just run over there and pick it up. Thank you this guy's help against the nightmare court. This guy's pretty cool. We won't go down he sells a, a recipe, uh, this little prison key thing. But this is this is the uh, probably one of the coolest things in the Caledon Forest that you can buy. Uh, you can pick this thing up, and even though the stats on the sword, you'll find way you'll find much better really quick. You can always come back at a higher level and pick this sword up, and then use the transmutation stone on a regular item. And if you're wondering what a transmutation stone is, I don't know if I have any. Anyway. A transmutation stone allows you to combine the appearance of an item with the stats of another one, so if I have a really cool sword, like the one I have now, I think it's kind of cool. Save yourself! So if I find a better sword eventually, which I know I will, I can use a transmutation stone to keep that uh, that skin on uh, the new weapon, but keep the stats of the new one with the stone. They're handy. I haven't actually used any of them yet, though, because I haven't found anything. I've wanted to save them because I change weapons out like every day practically. I'm still pretty low level. So there's another vista right there. And to get to that one, I'll just show you the beginning of it because I actually did a video of how to do the whole thing which you can go check out. There's actually people over there that are showing me for you. You just jump on those boxes and then jump onto the platform on the other side and follow the uh, planks up and around spiraling. Um, just take it slow. It's pretty easy to fall off if you rush it because there's gaps in between the planks as you can see. And it, they're positioned in such a way that you can't always tell where a gap is. See like right, right there is a little bit of a Quick, kill it! flip. Anyways, what is this great thing he's doing? It's a heart right there, the little uh, science camp. You're not dead yet. Anyways, Save your let's head off this way, continue skirting along the edge of the map. I am mighty. So there's a waypoint over here, and if we go up,
Oh yeah, that does actually go right into, into Metrica Province too, so there's that. There's no marker for the map though, which is interesting. And over here there's another nice little fort. I kind of like how the stone and the engravings on these forts, how they kind of fit into the, uh, the forest in their own way. Good old Lion Guard Buccaneers, look at that. Pirate badassery. I've got what you need. So yeah. Oh yeah, there's a vista uh, around here. That was actually the main reason why I came to this area. Save yourself! This is an easy one. Of course, if you get stuck like I do, then just noob it up. Retreat! Oh, yeah, this seems like a freebie. There's a point of interest over there. I guess I'll keep skirting along the edge of the swamp. Save yourselves! <laughs> so, for those of you watching, uh, if you have Guild Wars 2, uh, this is probably old news, unless you didn't start in the Slavari area and you just kind of want to run through this whole thing quick. Uh, for those of you that are still interested in getting it, uh, if you like MMOs at all, this is definitely worth picking up. So, there's a waypoint over there, and there's a heart over this way. I think that might be the one with the swamps. There's like a... Uh, there's a type of quest where you just run around a, a small area and fix up signs and kill a certain type of creature in the area. It usually goes by pretty fast. I think we've slowed the nightmare but court's advance. Let's see. Your help is appreciated. Eh. Not as cool, but it is it is a different skin than your normal greatsword, so I guess if that interests you. I'll be seeing you. rations, eh? I've recently taken up cooking, so I suppose I will buy that while I'm here. Oh yeah, there's a random event. Oh, I guess for those of you who haven't played Guild Wars <coughs> 2 yet, this is kind of the big, one of the big things for me anyways, is these, these random events. If you're anywhere in the vicinity and you see like a shield or an axe or something, uh, you can just kind of run over there and participate in the event. Even if you arrive late, you don't actually have to have started it with the people where it spawned. And usually it just involves like protecting someone or helping you out or killing something. Uh, and I just, I like this, the spontaneousness of them. And sometimes they're, they're multi-parters, where once you complete one section, it'll immediately begin... At least begin now we can offer that poor soul some measure of justice. A second part, and even a third or a so fourth much in some cases in life. different areas. How could my own people fall so far? I don't understand it. There are too many uh, to fight. Sparkfly? There must be another way around. Sparkfly caught in a bush? So there's a point of interest and a waypoint, but oh, actually, yeah, this this skill point's worth worth mentioning because if it's the one that I think it is, Save yourself! it can actually be somewhat deadly. Uh. Yeah, some skill points you have to fight people in order to get the skill, and this is definitely one where you have to fight them, and they are not. This one will actually kick your ass if you're not. It's 
kind of town. And once you beat her, you get the skill point. Uh, I think I had to run away the first time I did that one because I wasn't quite strong enough to solo her. She actually spawns, if I remember, sh she spawns two archers too that also shoot you, so that makes it a little bit more difficult than your normal, hey, let's just fight skill challenge. So there's a waypoint over here, and at this point, I guess I'll, we will transition to moving eastward. Save sightseeing tour of the Caledon Forest with speed hacks on. Oh, let's see. Mosquitoes, fireflies. Never never was an issue for me, but mosquitoes and fireflies do look somewhat similar with different coloring and the mosquitoes will auto auto pull and the fireflies will not. <laughs> Oh, it's a troll. Jungle troll. No more jungle troll. Jungle troll has been evaporated. Ah, this is the one. This is the guy you talk to and you have to run around the area fixing up signs and whatnot. Like, oh yeah, there's a torch here. Like this thing. Whee! I serve lion's arch. So I'll show you what stuff he sells. Ah, the patrol torch. Pretty ordinary, but hey, some people like ordinary. And he sells some uh, unique armor. It actually looks pretty sweet, not gonna lie. I like it. I don't think I actually saw his armor the first time I went through here. Oh man, there's just all sorts of stuff happening in this swamp. But, I will save events for another time. Perhaps I'll do a let's play sometime in <coughs> of my own level. Save yourselves! All is random caravan. It's being attacked by jungle trolls. Refreshing. <laughs> so yeah, there's a waypoint down in this area. Uh, there's not a whole lot up in the Rohan woods, so I guess I'll just come down here and take the road <coughs> to the next point of interest. Lots of line guard in the area. Retreat! So let's see here. some more music first off. Oh yeah, so I can explain these two things and then go off to this heart. Uh, this town over here, it gets it's periodically attacked by evil frogs that actually kick the, at, kick the shit out of the, the local guard. So if you're in the area, I recommend trying to help the guards at each point and then resurrecting them because the frogs will kill them. Each and then you'll be into the dark every time something so. howls down in slavers deep. At least we never miss a meal, and I'd rather eat than be eaten. Amen to that. <coughs> Random worker dude. Oh yeah, this fist is you know, a fun one to get to. Save yourselves! The way you do this starts off easy enough. It's me, Mario. And this is something I find interesting with this game. Is there's a lot of ledges that you would think you, you shouldn't be able to get on that you can.
for the same interesting stony engraved. It's like pseudo gothic, but not quite that harsh. Oh uh, yeah, and there is a heart over here. Oh, oh, falling hurts. Save yourselves! What the? Probably following me knowing these things. I said, go away. Uh, I forget what her heart is. Touch. I think it involves stuff underwater, but this is your first, at least, first uh, better underwater breather that I found, and as you can see, I'm still using it because I haven't found anything after that. Uh, it's got some rifles. Reassignment papers gives you some vitality. I'm not sure how that works, but hey. Oh yeah, skill point on the island. I'm um, pretty sure the skill point is underwater, and it's a commune with the spirit power thing. Just talk with it, and it, it supercharges you. Oh, I'll talk about stepping off the deep end. So we're going to be passing by a point of interest with hostile frogs. So. Not interested in your wares, go away. I thought that might push him back, but it didn't. Uh, there's a heart out here in the water. It's probably worth mentioning because you you only see hearts if you're somewhat close to them or if you talk with the scout. And this one eluded. This is, I think, the last heart that I did to complete the Caledon Forest because I totally missed it. The first time I went through here, I went up around this way along the shoreline. I didn't even think to check out here in the water. There's actually some villagers down here uh, in this area, and they need protection from... Need protection from these things. Go away. And Fisher let up. Let's see. Oh, these are okay. Or upgrade upgrade stuff. <coughs> and uh, the back in this area around there, there's a point of interest bring me crate skin peace will be forged with the blood of our oldest enemy go away save yourself not interested in fighting you right now Over here to this heart. Oh, it's a froggy. Hello. All right, he gives you some underwater weapons. Probably the first that you'll have access to, other than your default ones. There's a skill challenge over here. It's one of the the fighty, fighty ones. I think it's a big bird, bird man that you beat up and he gives you some point. <clears throat> some more points of interest along the shoreline over here that I didn't walk through. Another waypoint in the village I was telling you about that gets the shit kicked out of it. Uh, there's two points of interest here in a vista. This vista is just on land and you just need to walk around the edge of the mountain to jump up on top of it. It's pretty easy. Uh, another point of interest over here. There's a bunch of crate in the area, if I remember correctly. Uh, heart down here. Oh, we'll keep going that way. I'm just covering stuff on the mainland that I didn't go through. Uh, I think that's Vista. There's a Vista right here. It's This one's not too difficult either. You just need to run up some rocks around the side of it. Breathe. 
Sun's fire. Now, I could be wrong, but this looks like an aquatic animal. Why would an aquatic animal breathe fire? This makes no sense. But, oh well. It's fantasy. Shit doesn't need to make sense. Retreat! Why not breathe fire? It could just... I don't know. I could think of, like, acid. Acid would, would make a little bit more sense to me, because that would actually function underwater to some degree. I guess I'll be going by this vista. Then I can show you... Oh, I missed it. Oh, well, I'm not gonna do the whole thing right now. It's... If you time your jumps better than I just did, you should be able to do it in one shot. Just step along these planks here, get up uh, onto these rocks, and at that point it's just pretty much self-explanatory. Just keep following the path, winding up to the top of it, and you'll reach it without a, without a problem. Let's keep going this way. Save yourself. So there's a waypoint over here, another point of interest by the same area where this heart is at. Uh, there's kind of nothing really that interesting in this area, except for maybe Earth Elementals. It's like pussy malphites. This heart's in this this whole little area over here. Uh, this guy wants you to enter this area, which is infested with Nightmare Court people. You get the point of interest, complete his assignment. You need to talk with uh, insurgents and whatnot. Tool them, make them lose their pride. When you go up inside the main area, there'll be a a, uh, a fight challenge against three Nightmare Court Slavari hounds that will actually do quite a bit of damage. If I'm Correctly. They're not the easiest things in the world to kill. <clears throat> but you shouldn't have too much trouble with it. There's usually enough people in any given area to help you out when they see people fighting. At least in my experience, people have been pretty cooperative. Especially since there's no open PvP in uh, this area. So, the road ahead is this is probably road. something that some people have had trouble with before, but it's not actually necessary to do the jumping puzzle. You kind of want to. I'll run through really quick. Uh, the skill challenge here is just a flower. Pick up the flower, eat it, get a, get a skill back. down the time that it comes from like all these jumping puzzles.
even though there's no collision detection with other players, I might not make it. Uh, I have found that other players, for whatever reason, make some of these things more difficult sometimes. Get screwed up. But yeah, all right. If you manage not to fall there, like I keep doing, you just keep following it up, and when you reach the top, you just need to be careful with your jumps. Uh, it might just be the fact. The one I do screen recording, it makes my game lag a little bit. I'm not sure why I keep falling. But anyways, there's really nothing down here in the Sylvie's Inlet. So we'll head this way. Save yourself! It's nice to see you. This guy has a staff. Kind of tree tree-ish inspired, as you would expect, uh, recipe and a pendant. basically. <clears throat> There's a vista down south of that, and then two more hearts in the middle here. I mean, this whole area right here should be pretty easy. I think, I don't know, it just seems like this is kind of a natural area for people to kind of go in first. So, I'll be very surprised if anyone doesn't have any of this stuff completed. I get to sleep this open for a sec so you can see it. I'm not going to finish running through this little area here, just because in the interest of time, I think this has been plenty long. <clears throat> so I'll start at the bottom here and just pan up so you can double check if you missed anything. the entirety of Caledon Forest. If you do get 100% completion, you will get 40 jute scraps that you can refine into 20 bolts of jute that should help you, should jumpstart your armor smithing significantly. Uh, I know I enjoyed those quite a bit. This is random. Alright, anyways, that is it for me today. This is Creative Control signing out. Uh, if you enjoy this, Feel free to subscribe. Uh, if enough people like it, I'll do more of these types of videos. If there's something in particular that you're having trouble with in this area, just let me know and I'll try to help you out with it. Anyways, peace.